What is up everybody? Today we're going to talk about the Canon R3. Uh, side note, I am officially back. A lot of lot, a lot of things have happened in the past few months and I have not been able to make videos and I am sorry. Uh, we're going to come back with this easy R3 video and then we're going to get into the good stuff. Let's just get into it and uh, let's, let's just get back to it. What's up everyone, my name is James and this is The Engineering Filmmaker where we talk about photo, video, travel, and tech. I have been gone for quite some while now and I apologize again. Uh, we're getting back into it, a video every week at least. So let's talk about the R3's specs that Canon has announced. So number one, uh, it has a stacked sensor. It's going to be the first full frame stacked sensor from Canon, which is pretty awesome. Uh, this is going to give us a much lower rolling shutter and it's going to have faster readout speeds. Um, in my opinion, I'm hoping this will help with a couple of other things such as uh, overheating issues. Uh, the next thing is the electronic shutter. Uh, so this is kind of like the 1DX version of a mirrorless uh, or it's going to be between 1DX and the R5. Uh, so this may be geared a little bit more towards photographers than video. However, I am assuming it will have an a cram packed video uh, spec sheet as well. Uh, so the electronic shutter is going to be 30 frames per second raw images, which is super fast. Uh, that's for an electronic shutter, not the physical shutter. Canon used deep learning technology to add a car autofocus so that you can focus on vehicles uh, if you do photography for vehicles or if you shoot vehicle video, which I actually do, so it can be very beneficial. And then they also enhance the autofocus for eye, head, and face tracking on people for both photo and video. The next really cool feature is their eye control autofocus, where you can actually control the focus uh, just by looking at it, which is going to be pretty cool. It essentially follows your eye around uh, to keep focus on you or whatever you wait, want to look at. Uh, the body itself is made slightly different material wise, uh, but it does have a very almost exact look as the 1DX Mark II or III. Uh, however, I am very curious if it is the same exact like dimensions as the 1DX or if it might be a little bit slimmer because it is a mirrorless camera and doesn't need all those you know things inside. And then we have low light performance. Uh, we're looking at a minus seven in the performance category for low light, which I believe the 1DX Mark II was only like minus three and the 1DX Mark III was minus six. Uh, so even better low light uh, than the other cameras that Canon has come out with. So this is going to be super beneficial, especially if you were using like an R5 or an R before this uh, that had not so great low light, you're going to get awesome low light performance, which is due to the stacked sensor and some other features I'm sure they've worked on. And then here's where we get to the fun stuff about video. Uh, so the R3 will be able to shoot in high quality 4K uh, in Canon Log 3 and I'm assuming Log 1, uh, but it also has oversampled 4K. So what this means is one of two things. They're either going to have another 40-ish something megapixel sensor where they have 8K capabilities or they're going to not put 8K, they might put 6K, but I doubt it, uh, but they might just have an option for 4K HQ like they have on the R5, uh, but it doesn't have the ability to actually shoot 8K. Um, I don't know any reasons why they would or would not put 8K in it other than overheating, um, but having the ability to at least shoot oversampled 4K would be very beneficial. Uh, and then we can also shoot 4K raw internally, uh, which would be super nice, something I've wanted on the R5 for a while. You can also use autofocus for people, animals, motorsports, etc. while you're using these modes in 4K or whatever. Um, I, in the past, Canon has had some cameras that didn't have autofocus or uh, other features when you're using a high frame rate or a certain mode. Uh, so this is, you know, we, we still have it. The very last most important thing is it has a flip out LCD, just like the R5, R and all the other cameras, but with the 1DX body uh, and the same weatherproofing as all the other cameras. So all in all, it seems like it's gonna be a great camera. Uh, it seems like a great upgrade from the R5 if you're having issues with it or you want just a slight bit better of everything. I think the main benefits of having the R3 is going to be overheating and that low light performance compared to the R5, but that's really it. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comment section down below, is this a camera that you would buy? Um, but other than that, uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.